all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, the British Boxing Board of Control, what are they doing for boxing besides dip their own pockets? We all know that they're itching to get back and get milk in it, don't we? They've been they've had their head, they've had their heads and the noses in the trough for years now and it's not good. The beef I've got with British Boxing Board of Control is this. They're all overpaid and underworked and they're jetting around, swanning about with all their expenses paid, flown all over, free gratis, the job lot. I have a problem with that mate, a massive problem. Especially when they're not giving they're not getting fair play for fighters now. When I mean fair play, I mean how can how can we have people fighting on a show getting 80 million quid or 20 million or 10 million and other people on the same show getting anything from five to 100 grand? What? What? If that were foot? If that were football, there'd be hell on, wouldn't there? And this is why boxing, in my opinion, it needs to be... It needs to be... Look at this here, roads all over the place being gritted. Or tarmac, whatever. To crawl down here. Uh, I've lost my train of thought now. Boxing needs to go mainstream now. For, since the 80s, 90s, noughties, the 10s, and we're into the 20s, we're into the fifth decade and we've got the Warren family and the Hearn family still calling shots with border control. I mean, <laughs> what, what's all that about? Hey, is that ever going to change? Is it? Is it going to change that? It's not going to change, is it? It's not going to change at all. Now, what, what we want to see is some fair play. It needs to go mainstream, doesn't it? Besides old fish eyes Frank for getting his lawyers, if you cough, he, he rings a lawyer, doesn't he? Or Earns, they don't like to ring lawyers. They like to just get earning, don't they? Earn with Earns. But I want to see some fair play. I want to see boxing go mainstream. It's a massive sport. But we've got the same old people in the same old positions doing the same old things. We've got the top 2% of people earning millions and the rest of rest of the people are just making up the numbers and it's not it's not right, it's not right what's going on and it doesn't sit well with me. People don't like what I'm saying, so be it. If I am controversial, so be it, but the people need to fight people and we can't keep having these move arounds and people getting knocked about and stuff like that and everybody knowing who's going to win fights what, what's all that about when you turn Premier League on right when you turn the Premier League on the bottom the team at the bottom can beat the top can't they you've got the top 20 teams but when you've got people ranked on box rank 250 and they're going in with people ranked in top 10 we know what the result's going to be, don't we? Everybody knows, and this is why arenas are not getting sold out. And maybe this might give boxing a kick up arse, but there's too many people been milking the system too long. There's only a few promoters that are making money. The rest of them are just making up the numbers. The people that do it as a passion, people like Steve Goodwin and Dennis Hobson, Mick Hennessy. These people are. They're not getting a fair crack at whip. It's wrong. It's wrong what's going on. And too many kids are coming out of boxing in the 30s. They were a penny. They're the ones in the ring. The fighters are the ones in the ring. They're the ones that need respect. I don't want to see kids getting to 15 and 0 fighting nobody. Then fed to Conor Ben. What's that about? Conor Ben's been in WBC top 10 for the last two years or is it last 18 months but who is he fighting who is he beat to get that ranking you were alright 
for a hippie. The point I want to make is I want to make is boxing needs to uh, be governed. It's got to be governed, doesn't it? It's got to be governed. It's got to be. The government have got to get involved and save it because, like I've been saying for weeks now, all these matchups that we keep having, sooner or later somebody's going to get hurt. It's, it's like, for instance, we all saw what happened when Kel Brook stepped up, didn't we? £13. Well, Eddie Hearn's on about putting £140 of Lara Davis in with a, a light middle or super welterweight. £154, that's £14. Lara against Anthony Fowler. Two, two personalities on social media, but Lara's not big enough to take him on. He might have long enough arms. He can crack, but I just don't, I, and he might be great boxer, I rate Alara Davis, but I don't think he's big enough to take on him, Fowler. And Fowler's really a middle, isn't he, boiled down? He spars like heavyweight. So, uh, he'd have no business in there with Alara Davis, but Eddie Hearn said we could do it at a catch rate and that. He has not got the fighter's best interests at heart. If he did have, he wouldn't be crying after that guy died on his show in America. He's snivelling about it, whether them tears were genuine or not. Only you know, Eddie. But then, on the Tuesday after, he's making fights with people that have failed PED tests. So how can you go from that, say, you know, the sport needs to be safer, to putting fights on with PED cheats? I don't get it. Eddie wants to come on the channel. We can talk about this any time you want, Eddie. But you're not going to add fuel to it. Same as people around you don't want to add fuel to it. About other things that they've got going on in their life. Watch Netflix, May the 27th. May the 27th, the Netflix documentary premieres. And we know what that's about, don't we? So we'll just leave that at that. Netflix, May 27th. Nine days to go. Alright. But point I want going back to the boxing. It's gotta be mainstream. It's gotta be governed. Because sooner or later somebody's gonna get hurt. And then somebody else will get hurt, and nobody will do anything or say anything about it. They'll just put their heads in the sand. Nobody even mentions poor Scott Westgarth no more, do they? But people at the time were retiring, weren't they? Oh, I'm going to pack in. Steffi Ball said they were retiring over it. They're not retired. Not retired at all. They just say it only for effect. Nobody mentions. Nobody mentions him now, Scott Westgarth. Only lads who, who, who were in gym with him, they think about him all the time, but he don't get to mention that lad now, does he? Bless him, may he rest in peace. And that lad who died on that Eddie Hearn show doesn't get a mention now, does he? But he got a mention when he died, but it's all gone now, isn't it? When you die, they put you in an hole and throw muck on you, don't they? And that's it. That's it, you're, not, you're, you're an afterthought after that, aren't you? No matter what you give to the sport. No, it's the fighters I'm concerned about. They're the ones in the ring. You've got fighters there getting, I don't know. I heard a story the other day, Dillian White got millions in his last pay-per-view. And then I heard what, somebody got on undercard and they were all hugging and kissing and dressing them and all that, but I wonder what that fighter really, really thought. I know what I'd think if it were my son fighting on, uh, on that show. I'd have something to say about it, wouldn't I? But this is why boxing's the wild, wild west. Nobody's doing anything, are they? Nobody's doing anything about it, are they? Do you know what I mean? No. Nobody does anything, nobody says anything. Look at that, first one here. First in, last out. Hard work, dedication. But just a couple of videos there for you. A bit of training now, and then we'll see what happy tains. Oh, well, I'm very passionate about boxing, aren't I? I've got plenty to say, aren't I? But if anybody's got a problem, come and shut me up. Nobody does, do they? They say, oh no, when you tell the truth, nobody wants to take you on, do they? If anybody don't like what I'm saying on my channel, Steffi Bull, Robert Smith at Boxing Border Control, Come on the channel and let's have a debate about it. Anybody, I'm challenging anybody who doesn't like what I've said, 
it's like all these fake accounts on YouTube you're all welcome on channel all you've got to do is send your phone number to porkycorner at mail.com what I do you see I'll give you a phone number then and you can ring me you can ring me on this number or I'll ring you and we'll, we'll have you on channel we'll have you on channel and you can say well I didn't like this what you said or you didn't like that but nobody wants to take me on do they nobody wants to take me on so all right people need to follow uh, I forgot his channel name now Crawford Ashley's got a YouTube channel now uh, you might have to go onto his Facebook or something to find out where it's called but give Crawford Ashley a follow and tell him Big Porky sent you he's a good guy Crawford he's another one that spilt his guts for boxing and we check like a dog you know it's sad to see isn't it sad to see but I just think boxing needs to change I don't want to put everybody on the downer because it's a fantastic sport but when fighters are getting to 33 and they're getting out of the sport and they've got no money and it's the promoters and that driving around in the nice houses and the nice cars and that that are making fortunes out of boxing and the fighters are not having no they're all best mates with fighters all you fighters out there do you know you might may think that people in boxing are your best mates but do you know once you get out of the sport they're going to the next person then I'll see it with my own eyes and I feel for people in the sport I feel for Liam Cameron now nah. I think he's unblocked me now anyway Liam and that's good isn't it so I'm gutted when he blocked me but I'm between Liam and Dennis and I like them both don't I I don't think Liam's or Dennis have sorted the differences out yet but but uh, Tommy Frank used to like block me I used to like unblock me have you Tommy <coughs> <coughs> little crybaby Tommy Frank get me unblocked Tommy you know you know I'm part of the team, get me unblocked, stop being a crybaby. Just because I said I thought you got beat. I thought you got beat in your last two, Tommy, to be honest. Maybe it could have gone either way last one, but one before I thought you got beat. But it's an opinion. Get 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 over it, Tommy. It's an opinion. But blocking somebody for saying that, well it is what it is, isn't it? But don't be a little crybaby and be insecure, Tommy. Grow a big pair and fight Sonny Brooks. Sonny, not Sonny Brooks. Fight Sonny Edwards. Fight Sonny Edwards. Headline in Sheffield. Fight Sonny Edwards, and that'd be great then because we're not going to be able to get these foreigners in for you no more, Tommy. Fight Sonny Edwards. Grow a pair and get respect. If you lose, Dennis will bring you back. If you win, you are in the mix, aren't you? But if you win your world title in your next fight, you can defend it against Sonny, can't you? You've got to fight Sonny Edwards, Tommy. See, that's another thing. Fight's not happening. People hiding behind promoters. Well, I'll do what Steve and Dennis say, Porky Ross. I'll do what they say and Glyn. Well, what about what you say? Because you employ them. The fighters in charge. If fights don't happen, it's because fighters don't want it. When Roy, when Roy Jones got disqualified against Montel Griffin, they said you'll be getting short end at money and that. He just said, make the fight make the fight and that's what you should be saying Tommy Frank make the fight against Sonny Edwards Dennis Steve Glynn make the fight and then we'll just let Sonny run won't we with it on social media and he can be a bad guy and you can be a good guy hey up Porky Ross hey up Steve hey up Dennis hey up Michelle it's Tommy you can be a little Tommy good guy and Sonny can be a bad guy can't he strutting about in his uh, fake chinchilla top from Aldi so all right peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing all right so whoops oh is it still shut if you take keys out oh yeah so all right yeah